Hi everyone. Le Fleuron was a 64-gun frigate built in Rouen, France, in 1729. It was one of the first frigates built to a new design that was much more efficient than previous models. The French Navy used 64 gun as a typology for its ships. In the British Royal Navy, such lighter two deckers were considered to be third rates. During the reign of Louis XV, standardization efforts were undertaken to rationalize the design and construction of these ships. Their main advantage were their cheaper cost, and lower draft. This would be especially important for operations in India. The French built 61 of these 64-gun ships, the last one being Jason in 1779. Construction Le Fleuron was built at the shipyard in Rouen, France, in 1729. It was a 64-gun frigate, meaning it was armed with 64 guns. The length of Le Fleuron was 140 feet, 43 meters, the width was 30 feet, 9 meters, and the draft was 14 feet, 4 meters. The displacement of Le Fleuron was 1,100 tons. Le Fleuron was built of oak and had a sailing rig. The crew of Le Fleuron consisted of 300 men. The name of the ship Le Fleuron means flower in English. This name was chosen because the ship was one of the most modern ships of its time and was a symbol of French naval power. The design and embellishments of the ship were meticulously crafted to showcase the power and prestige of the French monarchy. The ship's interior was adorned with intricate woodwork, ornate carvings, and luxurious furnishings. Elaborate gilt and gold leaf detailing graced the ship's surfaces, enhancing its visual appeal. The decor often featured motifs inspired by nature, such as intricate scrollwork, floral patterns, and depictions of sea creatures. The cabins of officers and commanders were particularly sumptuous, featuring lavish upholstery, rich textiles, and finely carved furniture. These spaces were designed to provide both comfort and an ambience of grandeur. The ship's public areas, including the captain's quarters, were often decorated with paintings, tapestries, and other artworks that further emphasized its regal atmosphere. The exterior of Le Fleuron was equally impressive. Its hull was adorned with decorative carvings and embellishments, showcasing the skill of the ship's craftsmen. The ship's figurehead, located at the prow, was a focal point of attention. The combination of intricate woodwork, gold detailing, and artistic flourishes created a visual spectacle that emphasized the ship's stature as a symbol of French maritime supremacy. Le Fleuron and other similar ships of the era were not only formidable vessels in terms of their military capabilities but also expressions of artistic and cultural sophistication. It's important to note that details about the specific decor of Le Fleuron may vary based on historical records and interpretations. During the period from 1730 to 1748, the French ship Le Fleuron actively participated in the War of the Spanish Succession, a major European conflict that lasted from 1701 to 1714. While the war officially ended in 1714, its consequences and tensions lingered for several decades, and sporadic hostilities continued in various forms. Le Fleuron was a prominent participant in the ongoing conflicts stemming from the War of the Spanish Succession. Despite the official end of the war in 1714, tensions and rivalries between European powers persisted, leading to a series of smaller conflicts and naval engagements. The ship continued to serve as a symbol of French naval strength and was involved in various military campaigns and diplomatic endeavors during these years. Its role in the War of the Spanish Succession demonstrated the ship's versatility and significance in both naval warfare and diplomatic initiatives. The war itself was a complex struggle over the succession to the Spanish throne and the balance of power in Europe. It involved various alliances, shifting loyalties, and territorial disputes. Le Fleuron participated in naval battles, blockade operations, 
and escort missions during this period. Its maneuverability, firepower, and crew's expertise made it a valuable asset for the French Navy. The ship's contribution to these engagements would have influenced the outcomes of battles and contributed to the broader strategic goals of France. Beyond combat, Le Fleuron have been involved in diplomatic missions or as a platform for negotiations. The war's resolution and aftermath involved diplomatic negotiations, treaties, and agreements that aimed to restore stability to the region. As a visible and influential vessel, Le Fleuron have been used to showcase France's strength and commitment to its diplomatic endeavors. The period from 1730 to 1748 was marked by a complex geopolitical landscape, and Le Fleuron played a role in navigating this environment as part of the French naval force. Its participation in the War of the Spanish Succession illustrates the ship's importance as both a military asset and a symbol of France's maritime power during a time of ongoing international tensions. During the period from 1749 to 1763, the French ship Le Fleuron played a notable role in the Seven Years' War, a global conflict that involved most of the great powers of the time. The war lasted from 1756 to 1763 and had significant naval and colonial dimensions. Le Fleuron was actively engaged in the naval operations of the Seven Years' War, which was characterized by conflicts across multiple continents, including Europe, North America, the Caribbean, West Africa, and India. As a powerful and capable ship, Le Fleuron contributed to France's naval efforts in various theatres of the war. In the European theatre, Le Fleuron participated in naval battles and blockades as part of France's broader strategy. The war in Europe was characterized by shifting alliances and territorial disputes, and naval power played a crucial role in supporting military campaigns and securing supply lines. In the North American theater, the Seven Years' War is often referred to as the French and Indian War. Le Fleuron have been involved in supporting French colonial interests in North America by transporting troops, supplies, and resources. Naval engagements, particularly in the Atlantic and in the region around Canada and the Thirteen Colonies, were essential in determining the outcome of the conflict. The Seven Years' War concluded with the signing of the Treaty of Paris in 1763. This treaty had far-reaching implications for colonial territories and power dynamics around the world. The war significantly reshaped the global balance of power and set the stage for future conflicts. Le Fleuron played a role in the broader context of these events, contributing to the naval engagements and strategies that defined the war's outcome. Its participation in the Seven Years' War underscores its significance as a powerful and influential vessel in the French Navy during a period of intense global conflict. During the period from 1766 to 1767, the French ship Le Fleuron achieved a remarkable feat by circumnavigating the globe. This voyage was a significant maritime achievement that demonstrated the ship's endurance, navigational skills, and the advancements in exploration during that era. In 1766, Le Fleuron set sail on a daring expedition with the goal of circumnavigating the Earth. The voyage aimed to explore new territories, establish trade routes, and gather valuable scientific and geographical information. The ship was equipped with supplies, crew, and provisions for the long and challenging journey ahead. The circumnavigation voyage of Le Fleuron followed a route that took it across different oceans and continents. The ship sailed across the Atlantic Ocean, passed through the Strait of Magellan at the southern tip of South America, and entered the Pacific Ocean. During the voyage, the crew of Le Fleuron would have encountered a variety of challenges, including harsh weather, navigation difficulties, and the need to replenish supplies and repair the ship. The voyage also presented opportunities for exploration, scientific observations, and interactions with indigenous populations in various regions. 
the ship's circumnavigation took it to destinations such as the Pacific Islands, East Asia, and parts of the Indian Ocean. It's important to note that Le Fleuron's circumnavigation have been part of broader French exploration efforts during the 18th century, which aimed to establish trade routes, claim territories, and gather scientific data. By successfully completing the circumnavigation, Le Fleuron and its crew achieved a significant milestone in maritime history. Circumnavigating the globe was a testament to the ship's seaworthiness, the skills of its crew, and the advancements in navigation and exploration of the time. In the year 1767, the French ship Le Fleuron which had been a significant vessel in maritime history, tragically met its end. The ship sank off the coast of Nova Scotia due to a severe storm. The sinking of Le Fleuron off the coast of Nova Scotia marked the end of a remarkable era for the ship. It had participated in significant historical events, circumnavigated the globe, and contributed to France's maritime legacy. The Le Fleuron model was built by a very experienced model maker, Emeric Le Maillet, living in Campere, France. He built several exquisite ship models, like the Le Boulogne that is on display at the Musée de la Marine in Port Louis. In 1996 he won a gold medal for Le Boulogne at the French Championship of Naval Modeling, and two gold medals for his model of La Renommée at the World Championships in Switzerland in 1997 and in Belgium in 2000. Thanks for watching.